All right, guys, good morning. We're in Dallas. I want everybody to know we're in enemy territory, but I'm, I forgot your name already. Andres. Andreas. Andreas is taking me to the airport, Dallas Fort Worth Airport, and we're driving. And I asked him very politely if he would consider chatting with me for roughly four minutes, and he agreed to it. So we're driving. Andreas? How are you? How are you? Yeah, that's good. How are you? So, question for you. Okay. You're a taxi driver. Yes, I am. How long have you been doing that for? 10 years. What? 10 years. 10 years? Yes. And you've been doing it in the Dallas Fort Worth area or you've been doing it in other areas? Just Dallas Fort Worth. And that's it. That's what you decided you wanted to do. Yeah. So, listen, let me ask you this question. If you have an opportunity to do something else other than doing what you love, because it sounds like you love what you've been doing it for 10 years. Hold on. We had a little bit of a malfunction. What would what would you do? So I mean, like, if you, if I could say to you today, hey, I'm giving you a billion dollars to do whatever you want. You can stop being a taxi cab driver, or you can still be a taxi cab driver if you want to. What would you do? Uh, maybe I build my own company. Build your own company, be your own taxi cab like owner. Yeah. Got it. Are you have any interest in like the arts at all? Do you play guitar? Do you do anything like that? You know, I tried to play guitar one time, but it was hard. <laughs> I quit. Did you hurt yourself? Yes. Where are you originally from? I'm from Mexico City. Yeah? What brought you to Dallas? Uh, my family around here. And how long have you been in Dallas for? Uh, 14 years. 14 years? And where were you before that? Mexico, Mexico City? Mexico City. Oh my God. That's fantastic. Why Dallas? Why not Atlanta? Why not uh, San Antonio? My family was here. I got family on uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. I tried to move there for like... Uh, like seven years ago, I went there for like two months and I don't like it. It's too well, cold. It's cold, right? Yeah. It's chilly up there. It's Ma too cold. Were you by the water? Yeah, it was, I was like by the, by the lake. It's nice. Got it. So are you married? Do you have kids? Are you a single guy? I'm not married. Yeah? How, I'm many, married. how many kids you two got? Two kids. Yeah? Boy or girl? Girls. What? Yeah. How old are they? Six and seven. Wow. All right. So I got three boys. I got a 10-year-old, a 9-year-old, and a 5-year-old. Now, we tried to have a girl, but it's just, clearly, it's not in the cards for me. But uh, talk to me. Is it, uh, are you, like, the only guy in, in your in your household? Or you got, like, a male dog? Are you okay with a lot of estrogen in the house? Yeah. Yeah, it works out for you? Yeah, it's cool. Like, I got my, yeah, my wife works too. I got my dogs. And, like, How long have you been married for? Ten years. Ten years? Buddy, I've been with the same woman for 15 years. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Give me a little high. Let me pound it out a little bit. All right. What else you got? What else you want to ask me? Like, where are you coming from? Hey, great question. I live in Charlotte, and yesterday I flew in to Dallas. I had to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to take a 5.30 flight. Bro, I just want you to know I'm a little I'm a little giddy right now. I am a little I had a little too much caffeine, so I apologize if I'm being a little overbearing. <laughs> <laughs> Today my first customer it was four in the morning. What? From the Hyatt to the airport. So how do you know Barbara? You know, uh, I've been working on that hotel since they opened. And one time the customers, the manager, see my car inside was clean, and they say I like your car. So they asked me like, they got they they get my number. So every time they they have customers, they call me. And they got it. And that's how you that's how you build your business. Yeah. So. I came outside to see Barbara and asked her if she could get me a car to the airport. And she was very nice. And she said, I'm going to call Andres. Andreas, because I can't say it. I'm just bad at names. <laughs> and boom, here you are. And this has been a great ride so far. Thank you. Hey, listen, I appreciate you carving out four minutes of your time. I want you to have an awesome day. And I hopefully I'll see you again. All right. Thank you. Anytime. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome.